Hello and welcome to the second project for the Word course. So I've got my instructions printed. I'm just going to follow along with those and complete the project here. You're more than welcome to pause this video and complete yours in tandem with, with this video. And I will have title slides with each step. So if you're just stuck on a certain step, you can scrub along until you get there or look at the description box below and just click on the blue link of time. And then you can skip right ahead to whatever step you're stuck on. So we will start with step one. For your written communication class, you are writing a short research paper. To conform to MLA guidelines, modify the document's normal style by changing the font to Times New Roman, the font size to 12, and the line spacing to double with no blank spaces after the paragraphs. Okay, so if we want to update the normal style, first I'm going to show you where you find normal style. So on the home tab on your toolbar, go to the styles group here, and here's normal. So we're going to right click on normal and click on modify. Now we're going to change it to exactly what they asked for. So it wants you to change it to Times New Roman, the font size to 12. They want you to line space at double. So these are your line spacings here. If you hover over, nothing comes up. So you kind of have to know this. So we're going to click this one as the double line spacing. You'll see down here, double spacing. If you click this one, it's single spacing. That one's 1.5 lines, and that one is double. That's how you know. And you can see here it says factor 8 points, and it tells you in the instructions to, to change it to no blank space after the paragraphs. So to change the actor to 0, we're going to have to change this little guy here. So click once, and it changes down to 2. We still don't want that. We want nothing. So we click again, and it's gone which means there's no spaces after the paragraphs now. Just click OK, and everything in that page changes because it was all originally as a normal stop. Step two, apply the modified normal style to the first four paragraphs in the document from Crystal Matheson to 15 October 2018. So that's these four here. So I'll tell you, when they say paragraphs, you would normally think something big like this. But if you click the Enter button, that's considered a paragraph. So this whole line is a compare is a considered a paragraph. Uh, so that's what they mean by these four, first four paragraphs. If they're talking about a lot of uh, text in one, they'll say body paragraphs. And if you notice here, when I click down here into the black text, it's the normal box is highlighted gray. When I click up here on the blue text, it says heading two, which means that this is not the normal style. And number two is asking you to change it to the normal style. So all you do is you highlight those four, click on normal. Step three, center the title paragraph, a solution to food deserts micro farms. So just click inside of it. So anywhere in this line on the end, the beginning, the center, and then just hit your, your center line button. Step four, insert a header as follows. Insert a blank header at the top of the page. So to do that, we're gonna go to insert, there we go. Header and footer, click on header. And these are all pre-formatted, but they didn't tell you what format to use, just insert a blank header. So to insert a blank header, just click on Edit Header, and it shows you that the header is already there. Write a line, so we'll go to Home and click on the Write a Line. Type Matheson, space, and insert a plain number page number from the current position gallery. So we'll go back to Header and Footer. Go to page number, we'll go to the current position gallery and choose plain number. Here we go, now just close your header and footer tools. So step five says create a first line indent of 0.5 inches for the body paragraphs beginning with in the United States and ending with avenues for profitable enterprises. So that's what they want you to highlight. So we'll highlight all that. 
And to create a first line indent, we're going to go to the drop down here for the paragraph group on the home tab. Indent is already up here, so we're going to go to special, first line. 0.5 is the default, so we'll leave that alone. Click OK, and it's just kind of like you hit tab on it at the beginning of each paragraph. Step six, change the citations and bibliography style of the document to MLA. So we'll go up to the references tab here. And right here you'll see in citations and bibliography group, the style is APA. So we'll just click there on that drop down and choose MLA. Step seven, in the sentence, in the United States, fresh fruits and vegetables, so the very first one here. Move the insertion point before the period and insert a citation to a new source using the information below. All right, so I've got it before the period and I'm gonna insert citation here, add a new source, and I'm gonna fill out what it says in figure one. So the type of source is a website, corporate author, Web page. Your access is 2018. Make sure you don't mix that up with year. Month access is October and day 12, and the medium is electronic. Okay. And then it inserts right there. Step eight, insert a citation to the existing Johnson source before the period in the third sentence, most food deserts are in cities such as Oklahoma City. So that's this guy right here. And we'll go to just before the period and we'll insert a citation. So we're gonna click insert citation and it says to an existing source, Johnson, so meaning it's already entered in. So we'll click on Johnson and it shows up. Step nine, in the fourth sentence of the first body paragraph, however, use the thesaurus to replace the word assure with a more common synonym that starts with the letter G. So we'll click on assure, just make sure you're clicked to somewhere inside the word. And now we're gonna go up to review and click on thesaurus. And now they're gonna give you a few synonyms here and it says, um, choose a common synonym that starts with the letter G. So the first one that starts with G is guarantee. So we'll click the little arrow here and insert and it switches up those, assure for guarantee. Those are the source. Step 10, in the second paragraph, find the sentence, the aim is growth. It's right here. Move the insertion point before the period and insert a citation to a new source using the information in figure two. So right before the period, we'll go back to references and insert citation, add new source. And figure two says article in a periodical. <clears throat> the author is Ames Judy. Ideal Harvest, and it inserts right there. Step 11. To provide additional information at the end of the second paragraph, move the insertion point immediately after the period in the sentence, fruit trees and bushes. So the second paragraph, fruit trees and bushes here. Immediately after, 
and insert a footnote with the following text. So insert a footnote right here. And then we'll type in such practices are called companion planting. Don't forget your period. Just click outside and you're done. Step 12, modify the footnote textile by changing its font size to 12, the line spacing to double and indentation to 0.5 first line indent. So we'll click on our footnote, we will right click, and we are going to go to style and modify. Now this looks like when we're updating our normal style. So we need to change it to font size to 12, spacing to double, so this guy again, and first line indent of 0.5. In order to do that, we're going to have to go down here to format, click on paragraph, indentation, first line, 0.5 is the default, so click OK. And now you've got your first line indent, your double spacing, and text is at 12. So click OK and apply and see a change. Step 13. In the main body of the document, find all instances of text abandoned and replace it with vacant. Hint, you should find and replace two instances. So we'll just click into the main body. Go up to the Home tab, click on Replace, and find Abandoned, and Replace with Agent. Replace All, and Two, so that's how you know you've got it done right. Step 14, cut the paragraph micro farms include private garden. Move this one down here. And then paste it so it becomes the third body paragraph. So I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to, I can go up here and click the cut button or I can right click and say cut. And what cut does is it copies it to the clipboard and erases it from the paper in the same instance. So they want you to make it the new third body paragraph. So we'll go up here and we'll see this is one, this is two. So we're going to put it right here to make it the next third body paragraph. So we just click the paste button right here and there you go. It becomes the new third body paragraph. Step 15 in the fifth body paragraph in rural locations. Is this one? Edit the Fortier citation to add the page number 25. So here's Fortier. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to edit citation right here and it asks for pages. So I'm going to type in 25 and OK and it shows up right there. Step 16. Modify the works cited paragraph down here as follows. So A, with the insertion point immediately before works cited, insert a manual page break. So we're going to go to insert and page break. And then it says B, center the works cited paragraph. So home and center. Step 17, with the insertion point in the left aligned, there we go, right underneath work cited. Use the insert bibliography command to insert a list of sources without a built-in heading. So we're going to go up to references and we're going to go to the bibliography button. And these are the built-in bibliographies and it says it wants you to insert one without a built-in heading. These all have built-in headings so you're just going to click on insert bibliography. You already have your heading right here that you typed in or that was already here in the pre-formatted uh, project. Step 18. After reviewing the bibliography, you notice the year is missing from the Harris source. 
find the Harris source and edit it, entering 2017 as the year. So here's the Harris source here. It's the access, the year access is right there, but the year of the actual um, document is not there. So we're going to have to go up to, um, on the references tab again on the toolbar, manage sources, and we'll look at Harris. So click here on Harris, click edit, and it wants you to insert 2017 as the year. Click OK and close. Step 19, you'll notice that the Harris source didn't show up here. So what you need to do now is update the bibliography field so the works cited list reflects the edit you made to the Harris source. So we'll just click in here, right click, and update field. And then you see 2017 show up there. Step 20, check the spelling and grammar in the document to identify and correct any spelling errors. Hint, ignore names. You should find and correct at least one spelling error. So I'm just going to go up here. It doesn't matter if you're here or not, really. And then go to Review and... Where's mine? Normally on yours, there's a check... If there's a spelling and grammar button on the left hand side where my editor button is but because of my version of word it's a little bit different so look on yours for spelling and grammar if you have the same version that i have it's going to say editor and here's spelling i'm going to click on that and it wants me to change build so i will click that and uh, there we go